You're watching Fox 40, news that matters. Our top story tonight is out of Chico, where thousands who lost everything in the campfire in Butte County giving thanks for the things that they still have. Thanks for joining us on this Thanksgiving. I'm Eric Harriman. And I'm Nikki Lorenzo. This holiday, many campfire survivors say they are grateful for all of the generosity they've received over the last two weeks. Several locations in Chico offered free Thanksgiving meals to paradise survivors today, including at the Sierra Nevada Brewery and on the campus of Chico State University. Fox 40's Doug Johnson has more tonight. Here at the Sierra Nevada Brewery in Chico, thousands of campfire survivors are going to be having their Thanksgiving meal here in this room. And a lot of them tell us they're just grateful to have a space where they can talk with their friends and neighbors. My goodness, you, it was over the moon. It was so wonderful. Oh, I'm glad. When you lose everything, it's easy to have a little to be thankful for. We um, lost everything but our dog and our two cars, our passports, and our lives. Trish Davey tells us that's not how she feels. We are so thankful. We are so thankful. A lot of people might hear that and say, why? <laughs> well, you know, we have our lives. Lives she and her husband Bob say they were maybe 10 minutes away from losing. As the campfire burned around their paradise home, these pictures show the before and after of the house Davies' grandparents owned since the 1960s. The section of Feather River Hospital, where she worked as a chaplain, is also gone. She said, I ran for my life. <laughs> Today, husband, wife, and dog Lollipop came to the Sierra Nevada Brewery. This is our general buffet area. We've got three lines set up. Where free meals are being served to campfire evacuees. And they're just ready to just take care of you here. In the wake of the tragedy, the brewery says it decided to scrap plans for a celebration beer and instead use some of its beer making equipment for this Thanksgiving meal. And we cut the top of the kettle off so we can literally drop a basket in the top of the kettle to boil potatoes. With so many other campfire survivors here, Davy says it's good to again be with a community. She says it doesn't need buildings or material goods. You find out when you're in this situation, there are things. You find out what's important to you. And to her, it's important to say thanks for the overwhelming show of support. There aren't words for this. They're really in the town of Paradise tonight, there is still an evacuation order in effect. People still not allowed back in, but a lot of the campfire survivors that we spoke with say they would like to get back up to see their property, even if there's nothing left, just so the healing process can begin. In Chico tonight, Doug Johnson, Fox 40 News. And Doug was at Sierra Nevada Brewing, and so we'll stay there for a quick second. That company releasing a new beer to help victims of the campfire. So here's a picture of what it'll look like. It's called Resilience IPA. The company says that it plans to raise millions of dollars by donating all the proceeds from the sales of this beer directly to victims of the campfire. That brewery also says that it's turning its competitors to help do the same thing. What's even more amazing is that our, our owner, Ken, he put out this kind of bat signal to all of the brewing community, say, hey, we're doing this. We'd love it if anybody else would want to do it with us. And at the last time that I checked, the count was at 678 breweries across the country who have signed up and said, we want to brew resilience too. So the answer to the request was a resounding yes. So other breweries that she mentioned there will not be able to bottle or can resilience IPA, but Sierra Nevada says that they will be able to sell it on tap.